Honey, I was talking to Fran the other day, and she was telling me about a new sex position I'd like to try. Mmm. Fresh baked muffin? Yes, please. Mm. So it's called the perfumed horse. Okay, I'm listening. Well, I get on my side like this, mm -hmm. and then I lift my legs straight up in the air like this. And then you come around to my side and nestle up in, uh, you know, my womanhood. And then enter me completely. Jesus Christ, Beth. These muffins are giving me a heart on. Sexual intercourse, American style. Take a boy and a girl, and a girl and a boy. In this mixed up world, man, we found a new joy. And sexual intercourse, American style. Do -do 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 Gervais Chambertin, Premier Crew, 1986. Very good. Whoa, that's a lot of Merlot. Mm hmm. Could it be Chateau Petrus? It could be. And it is. <laughs> oh. Chateau Lafitte Rothschild, 1973. Oh, yes! Wait, you're not Fran? No, this is my new friend, Cindy. She works at the stationery shop in New Canaan. Don't worry, she's cool. <laughs> Hi, baby birds. Where's Fran? Come on, Beth, you know Fran takes her pottery class on Thursday nights. I don't think she would like this. Yeah, don't worry. She's cool. Beth, each day is a journey, and a well-worn path is a path where no new leaves can grow. Fran taught us that. Tom, you have such a lovely collection. Can't we just make this a wine party instead of a wine and sex party? <laughs> what? And spoil all of our fun? Beth, I admit, it is a superior collection, but this isn't about the wine. And the wine is just a prelude to the main course. Yum, yum. I think the wine can stand on its own, thanks. Jesus, Beth, what is it with you and the wine? I'll tell you. My father was a vintner. He produced some of the finest vintages in North America. His home was these great fields in the North Fork of Long Island. And it's where, as a child, I found him. His throat slit by a rival producer. Enough of this wine jazz. I came here to get my snizzle wet. My snizzle wet. <laughs> 